you know for us Christians I think when we think about the list of this uh, preterm babies um, epitomize that they are small they are tiny they are helpless they are dependent on um, others for every single thing so there are various reasons why a baby could be born preterm and we define being born preterm as any baby who's been born about three to four weeks uh, from the date that they were expected to be born the, the way you would look at um, the reason for prematurity is either because of moms there is a reason that makes it unsafe for mom to continue being uh, pregnant or that there is something in the baby that's felt that if they were out they would probably thrive better than they would um, inside the mom's womb. ANICU actually stands for a neonatal ICU. Um, it's a name given to a place where you give intensive care to the little newborns. Um, that's anything from zero days to about 28 days. In many parts of our country in Kenya, what you will end up having is just newborn units. Um, and these will be units where you are able to give some basic minimum type of services. So the neonatal ICU in Kijabe is um, unique in that sense, that we are able to give um, a little more than the basic services. So why would preterm babies come to um, AIC Kijabe Hospital? I think over time we've also been able to present a lot of um, data on our preterm outcomes to um, other healthcare workers who take care of children around the country and so the information is out there that you know if you come to Kijabe with a baby this many kilos these are your chances of them going home with them and uh, what we are attempting to do now is see can we expand that can we make room for more um, can we uh, make sure that you know whoever has been sent here is actually not turned away I see growth in terms of numbers, um, I see growth in terms of capacity to take care of sicker, smaller, more complicated, but I see growth in way bigger things that sometimes are not even tangible. It's the ability for a team to know and see that you can do something about a situation and I think that's, um, that's fundamental. That's, um, that's life-changing, not just for the people that are taking care of these patients, but um, for the community as well, that, you know, you could do something about this. You can't change a narrative. Um, so I feel that's the story of um, BQ at Kijabe, and I find that very inspiring for myself as well. So I think um, MIQ is um, a truly unique uh, place for all of us, not just for the families that we take care of, but for all of us to truly be reminded in the happy and in the not so happy moments that, you know, God's here, God sees, uh, God's walking with us. And, you know, every day becomes um, energizing and humbling at the same time and um, reminding you of the miracle that life is. Um, so we hope to accomplish way more um, with the expansion, not just opening the door for more babies, which would be great, uh, but also being able to work with those families and being able to provide all the services that we can in a way that is safe for each one of them.